So in the next step, we're going to um, we're finished this first test. Then we will make uh, the next test. We'll um, I guess you can see enough with two tests with the normal crate and the normal the up and the normal update. So now we make the normal update. And for this test, um, we will need the get all method, which we will implement later. For now, we say press it for say the um, delete all, as in the uh, first test. Um, so nothing is in the database. Then we will create a new person. Um, let's say this one is with an odd name. Then we say um, we create this person, so it's in a database. <clears throat> then we create a list of persons. Oh, let's call this person list. Um, and it's of the get all. And let's import this. Um, so with this, we get all the person that are in the database at this moment. And for this, we have to implement it. Uh, okay, um, we'll need to, uh, let's copy this. We'll need to entity manager again, as always. Um, and then we say a list of person so persons let's call it this um create query and then we say select p from person p and then we say get result list so we get it in list form <clears throat> then we can close it and we will return the persons. That's all. It's really simple. So now we can get all the people that are in the database at this moment. We'll call this method. And with this we can um, we can see if there's anything in it or if there's nothing in it. And we will guess it with the size, and it should be one. If it's not, we can guess there's some error, and just let it fail, and say um, there must be exactly um, one object in the database. Okay. Um, If it got past this point, we can guess that exactly one person in it, that's Bruce. And then we say um, the person P1, or we overwrite it, say um, the person list um, get. And then we will give the index. And because we um, already proved that it's just one person in it, we can um, give the index zero with it because it will surely be Bruce as a person one. We will get back. And then we say um, we set the name. Oh no, sorry. Um, set the name and let's set it on Bert. Don't know. Let's call him Bert. Um, then we say person for say update. Um, and now we will create a new person. Well, let's call it update the person. Is person for say um, get by key.
and we will assert um, equals um, Bert and updated person get name. So <clears throat> um, now this test should evaluate if the person of the uh, the name of the person is Bert because then it must have been updated. Um, so for this test, we use the, well, let's see, in the persistence, we use the, the sample database and we will connect to it now. And then we will test it here. Here it should actually work. Um, also, we shouldn't forget to um, add the class person to the entity classes of the persistence unit because that's easily forgotten often and now we test this and the test runs and runs and now we'll see the results. Hmm. Okay, so it must have been. Oh, okay. Wait. Um, I created this database with a forename and a show name, and I guess it will still be yes. Okay. Um, let's delete this. We don't need this rows, and we just called it um, name. So we add a column, call it name, and it's I guess Roger. This is hmm, oh yes. Let's give it a twenty. Um, so I hope now it works. Let's um, refresh this. Is this yes? Refresh and run the test file again. I hope this works now. Yes. Okay. So I have to excuse myself for this error. Um. Yes, so we see the normal create and the normal update work. They work perfectly fine. If we now view the data, we will see that there is um, someone named Bert in it. This, um, this means the last test run is the update test. So it's just one person and it's Bert. Uh, so it has updated also. Um, for now, we will Check it in in subversion. Yes. Okay, commit this. Yes, let's try this. So now it's checked in, and we will now test it with Jenkins and we will hopefully see that it won't work because there we can test a local database so it doesn't have the connection to it so it should fail actually and let's build it yes it's building this can last a little time Okay, it's building two times because apparently I clicked it double, double clicked it. 
Um, so we have to now it's finished, and when we now click it, um, I don't know if we can read it because it's in German, but there it says two failed tests. The last tests have failed. Um, so now let's mock this. This is why we mock things. So now we make a um, public void test three. Um, let's call it mocked create, and we will need a new person facade. Um, this is the the class we will mock out because it's with this class we achieve the connection to the database, and this we want to mock so the tests won't fail even if they can't if it, even if it can't find the database itself so we say um, person facade mocked facade um, and now we will use the mock method and this just needs a, per a class and we will give it a person facade class <clears throat> yes so we have to implement it nope okay wait a little okay um so we just need oh yes we need to um in the pom as in the project files the pom xml there if you make a maven project um as i did um there are dependencies and we will add now the dependency um for mojito and we will have the the group id um org mojito um and the artifact id um mojito core we'll use the core and the version let's see the yes this one uh, 195 and the scope is tests Okay. Um, so with this, we should be able to um, will. Well, let's try it again. Maybe it just needed some. T yes. Okay. So um, it just needed some some time. Um, now it has imported the static import org mojito mojito mock and with this we can use finally we use the mock method and now we can work with it um, so let's now let's create a new person let's say um, let's call her Anna and let's say ah uh, yes what I what I should say is, um, you can't. Yes, let's. I, I'll show you what I mean. Um, let's say the string expected is the create method worked because we have to um, prove that the method works in, in some way. And when we say when the mock facade is called with the method create and we will give the parameter person one then it should then then return um, <clears throat> the expected string yes um, I do you expected okay So when you now see the error message, message it says void type not allowed here. Um, so you see this void method and we have an abstract facade and person facade, they don't work. So we now have to um, just rewrite them to string. It will have all the capabilities of the normal, normal methods, just that it has a success message we give, we, over, we give it when it's finished. So, 